Welcome to Doing Life Deliberately. My name is Trisha, and in this series on spiritual growth resources, I will give you tools and resources to help you and your family grow in your walk with the Lord. Today's video is all about tools for parenting. All right, moms and dads, this video is for you. If you are looking for some great resources to help you grow as a Christian parent, then hopefully today's video will give you some great resources to put in your hands and to help your home. The first study that I would like to commend to you is called Entrusted with a Child's Heart. I've been through this study personally half a dozen times and have led other ladies and along with my husband have led couples through this study as well. What I like about Entrusted with a Child's Heart is that it is a very in-depth study of God's word when it comes to parenting. And it starts at the very foundation of what is our faith? What is our hope? What is the foundation of our home? The very first Bible verse that you will memorize, and you will memorize a Bible verse for every chapter in the book, is Psalm 127 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman keeps awake in vain. Betsy Corning is the author of this study, and the whole point of this is setting a great foundation for our homes. Unless God is in our homes and present and at work, and the source of why we do what we do as moms and dads, our family structure is going to fall apart. And so Betsy's goal is to give us a great foundation as moms and dads and help us to point our kids toward Christ in all that we think and say and do. Um, some hot topics that she covers in the study is um, biblical convictions. What does the Bible say about certain things? And what are personal convictions? And what's the difference between biblical convictions and personal convictions? Why do some Christian families look this way and other Christian families look that way? What's okay to be different and what's not okay to be different? And how do we give grace to each other? So I love doing this study in community because it helps us to give each other grace and freedom as parents, to not be judgmental of one another, but also to challenge each other in a loving way in appropriate areas. So it's great for that. It covers discipline, of course. It covers instructing your children's hearts rather than trying to just make them good. She talks about rebuking your children and using the rod with your children. What does the Bible say about discipline and how to correct your children? What are the things that our kids should be learning from toddlers all the way to high schoolers? And how do we know when our kids are ready for learning this, that, or the other thing? Betsy covers tons and tons of stuff. It's such a great study. Um, it can be done as a mom's study, and I've conducted that study that way several times through our church. Um, but it's also a couple study, and you can buy a, a book for couples to go through together. So check out Entrusted with a Child's Heart. Another fantastic parenting resource is called Shepherding a Child's Heart by Dr. Ted Tripp. And what I like about this book is that he is trying to help parents understand that we all wanna have good kids and we all want them to behave well, but it's more important for our children's hearts to be spoken to, for us to guide them and direct them toward the Lord. And we don't want them to be good just for the sake of being good because good people can still go to hell. But we want them to honor the Lord in their behavior. We want them to make good choices because the good choices are a way of worshiping the Lord. So we need to direct our children in that way. And so um, he helps us to understand how to communicate appropriately with our children and how to discipline them in the correct way from the youngest stages to the oldest stages, because obviously that looks very different. Um, but I love how much time he spends 
on talking about communicating with their children and um, leading them in the ways of wisdom and showing them the ways of foolishness and then training them in age-appropriate ways and what are the ways that we should be training them at different stages and what are the biblical ways of accomplishing that. So check out Dr. Ted Tripp's Shepherding a Child's Heart. Another great book that is not solely about parenting but has great parenting chapters in it is Christian Living in the Home by Jay Adams. He does a great job in one of his chapters talking about discipline and correction and what does the Bible say specifically for parents in the way that we are supposed to discipline and correct our children. Um, it's not a very lengthy chapter, but it is thorough. So check out Christian Living in the Home by Dr. J. Adams. Another great resource for parents is a book called Give Them Grace by Elise Fitzpatrick. And uh, she's written this with her daughter, Jessica Thompson. Now I found this book to be very challenging. And as a small group uh, discussing this, there was some great conversation. Um, some things are just kind of hard to uh, grasp. I think some things are tough truths that need to be told and need to be wrestled with. And so this book is truly a great, challenging book for parents. Um, the premise of this book is, again, we all want to have good kids. We want them to behave well. But God wants more than that. It's not enough for us just to to be good. We can never be good enough to earn his favor. That's why we need his grace. And so it's very easy as parents to just say to our kids, just do this, just be good. Um, can you please be good? And to really try to correct our kids' behavior. But we need to be doing more than correcting their behavior. And she gives a good foundation for that, a good challenge to that, and really helps to renew um, one's mind about how we deal with discipline and what we say to our children and, and how we interact with our children. Um, I definitely haven't mastered this, but this is a book worth reading again for me. So Give Them Grace by Elise Fitzpatrick and Jessica Thompson. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you know of other great parenting resources, please list those in the comments below. I would love to hear what books have impacted your family and how you've grown and been encouraged by them. Thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.